Muchas gracias. How did this guy from Oklahoma get to be a flamenco guitarist? Kind of the rest of the story in a nutshell. Yes, I grew up in Tulsa, very poor kid, uh, lived on the edge of town in a trailer court. My dad was a carpenter and it's hard life. Finally, when I was seven years old, my mom taught me to play a ukulele and I discovered music. What an amazing gift it was. I found out I could connect with people through music. It was an amazing experience. I loved it. Local TV star at eight years old on the kids shows, you know, playing the ukulele. Finally, when I was 10 years old, I decided I was going to be a real musician, got a piano, practiced every single day, at least an hour, took lessons. Started learning something in life that you get good at whatever you practice. Finally, in junior high school, they needed somebody to play a cello, so I got a cello. Two years I spent being a part of a junior high orchestra, practiced every day on that, found out I could get pretty good at that too. Finally, when I was 14 years old, got my first guitar. Now, growing up in Oklahoma, flamenco was not the first music that I played. <laughs> now, I think if I were to say uh, Oklahoma, I grew up with the first time I got the guitar. Well, I was playing music that may have sounded a little bit like... Uh, country music like that. Found out you could play any kind of music in the world on the guitar. And even though I'd found that uh, music was my talent and that the guitar was my instrument, there's still exploration. And this is true for all of us in life, no matter what, in our relationships, in our business, and uh, in our organizations. Where we, we have to explore within the find, is what I call it. You don't just get an answer, you have to keep exploring. And so I was trying different styles of music to see what was the best for me. Even did a little stuff they call uh, jazz. Even did a little stuff they call blues. Yeah, I did that for a while. Finally got into rock and roll, had my own rock and roll band in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We were famous, at least on the block where the three guys lived, you know. <laughs> and uh, off on a summer vacation with my uh, family, and I'd given up fishing for a guitar playing by this time, so here I was in, on Wolf Lake, Minnesota with my, with my electric guitar, working on my music one day. And... My mom comes home from a grocery store, with a record of Carlos Montoya. Never heard of flamenco music in my life. Carlos Montoya, the world's most famous flamenco guitarist at the time. But the minute I put this recording on, I'm telling you, it was love at first sound, blew me away, spent all summer driving everybody crazy, trying to figure this stuff out on my electric guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I got home to Tulsa, sold my electric guitar, got one of these nylon stringers from a local pawn shop for 15 bucks. Guys in my rock and roll band thought I was genuinely crazy. This guy's flipped out. I started telling everybody in Tulsa, Oklahoma that would listen to me, I was going to go to Spain and live with the Spanish gypsies, learn how to play real flamenco music. Now everybody in town thought I was crazy. People would stop me on the street. Hey, aren't you that crazy kid thinks he's going to be a gypsy? Stupidest thing I ever heard of. Or they'd say things like, who ever heard of a kid from Oklahoma playing a flamenco guitar? Boy, you can't do that, you know. When I was growing up, I uh, started playing the guitar. I said, Dad, when I grow up, I want to be a musician. And he, he, he said, son, I don't believe you can do both. <laughs> they grow up in be a musician. Yeah. But now he had just one story for me. He said, "Son, I don't believe you can make a living doing that. You gotta, you gotta get a real job." And he didn't understand being music was a real job, being a musician. So anyway, uh, see, that's all what I call the no way thinking. There's a lot of that downward spiral, negative thinking, and I had to take them from no way to ole, <laughs> and that became the mission of my life: to take people from no way and no way thinking to ole.
sense of flamenco spirit might be summarized by an experience I had with a legendary old gypsy guitarist named Diego del Gastor. People came from all over the world to study with this old gypsy. Lived in, in uh, Moron de la Frontera, south of Seville. Um, we were having a lesson one day doing variations on that rhythm that I was just playing. The Bularias it's called. B-U-L-E-R-I-A-S. Bularias rhythm. And he was doing these incredible variations. Before long, I just couldn't take it anymore. I, one variation was better than the last, and I stopped him. I said, Diego, show me the best variation that you've got. And he said, hombre, he said, every variation that I play is the best. There's not one variation that I play that's not the best because it's the one that I'm playing now. In that moment, I felt from this old gypsy, this wise, in fact they call him by the title of El Sabio in the region, which means the wise man. And he was just radiating the spirit of the gypsy philosophy at that moment, which is simply this, that every moment in life is the best moment. Every moment is the best moment to live your passion, to be authentic, to be true to yourself. Every moment is the best moment to achieve the extraordinary. But they believe you must be extraordinary in order to do that. But that's not a hard thing to do because it's the most natural thing for each of us to be authentic, to be extraordinary by just being ourselves. Because I believe that's how we were made and that's what the gypsies believe. That that's our job is to find out why we're here on this planet and to do our best to bring that out and share it with others. I hope a balance between introduction to an exciting uh, ethnic art form from Spain, the original guitar music that all started in Spain, and um, introducing to the kids uh, the concept of what I call the power of Olay, the optimistic leadership energy that is a part of the culture of southern Spain, and encouraging the kids to develop that O-L-E, the optimistic leadership energy, by discovering and developing their own unique talents, what they're good at, and finding a way to use those talents so that you just love what they do. Hey, even my guitar speaks Spanish. Yeah, did you notice? Well, you know, guitars can't talk by themselves. You have to, somebody has to help to talk. And when you speak Spanish on the guitar, that is called flamenco. Everybody say flamenco. 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 I want you to notice, kids, the word is not flamingo. Okay. A flamingo is a big pink bird you find out at the zoo, you know, stands on one foot. Everybody look up here. Notice that I am not a big pink bird. Okay. For the first time, you get good at what you practice. Now, have you noticed that? Anything you do over and over again, you get really good at it? That's true. It's always going on. You're always practicing something. Here we go. Whoop, that's a little slow. Try it again. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that's getting real good. See what happens when you practice? You get better. Whatever it is, you get better. Watch the guitar. Listen to the guitar. Here we go. 